Hello friends, I hope your preparation for the competitive exam is going well on track and with full dedication. One thing I have realized after teaching for so many years in a field of competitive area that to crack any good competitive exam like CAT or ZAT is not only a matter of pure knowledge, practice or concept clarity but at the same time application of that knowledge under time pressure where the examiner wants to check your intelligence per second. Most of the students who ace such exams keep track of their time spent on each and every questions. For example, students, if I take a typical example of time, speed and distance, in the first go students, the question seems to be very confusing. If you go through the question, two trains, Namo Express, Raga Express start toward each other, two cities, then speeds are given and then one bird is sitting. Most of the students, they will skip of the question at the first go. But friends, I will tell you a technique, I will tell you a way by which you can do these questions within 10 to 20 seconds. Simply what we have to do, we have to apply the basic concept of time, speed and distance. If you are aware, speed and distance has got direct relation. Time and distance has direct relation. Time and speed has inverse relation. These three things are very important in chapter time, speed and distance. And from these three things, one of the application will be there in this question. Now students just go to the question. If you'll see distance is two trains, distance is 1800 meter, their speeds are 50 and 58 kilometer. As they start, a bird named Democracy uh, sitting at the front end of Raga starts uh, flying toward Namo, touches Namo and then return to the Raga and so on until the train meets. Now, question is what distance did the bird travel in total if it was flying at the speed of 324 km per hour? So, what is the speed of the bird, students? 324 km per hour. Now, what are the we have to find the distance covered by the bird. Now students see, the bird has to fly till the two trains will meet. Because the time taken will be the same in both the cases. Because the, till time the train will meet, bird has to fly. Now if suppose the train, when they will meet, they will cover 1800 meter. And the speed of the train, relative speed of the train will be 50 plus 58, which will be 50 plus 58, which will be student 8, 5, 5, 10, 108 kilometer per hour. Why we have added? Because both the trains are moving from opposite direction. And what is the speed of the bird student? Speed of the bird is 324. Speed of the bird is bird speed which will be 324. So now you can see the relation. Speed of the bird will be three times that of the speed of the train. So that means when the time taken will be same, so bird will cover the three times of the distance of the train. And what the distance train has to cover? You can see 1800 meter. So that means in, in this time, the bird will cover 1800 into 3, which will be students 5400 meter. So this is the answer. So simply what we have done, we have done the application of distance and speed has got the direct relation. So if you want to see such more tricks, then you have to enroll on hitbullseye.com for more videos. Thank you students.